Normally when the sisters are asking questions, I get so worried because <laughs> they come up with all sorts of questions and you know, it's a good thing, very good thing, but I have to make sure I, that I answer correctly. But this one, mashallah, we have evidence in Quran and Sunnah, so it's easy to answer, mashallah. So Allah Almighty wants you to ask Him. Allah Almighty wants you to ask Him. He makes it very clear. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ The verses of fasting in Surah Al-Baqarah, just after that Allah says, When my worshippers ask you about me, I am very near. I respond to everyone who calls out to me when they call out to me. So call out to me, Allah says. Let them call out to me, ask me whatever they want. And let them believe. The hadith, the Prophet says, It's a hadith that explains how important it is to call out to Allah because you are dependent on Allah. The hadith, the meaning of it, the literal meaning of it is whoever does not call out to Allah, whoever does not ask Allah, Allah is upset with him. You're not asking me. Subhanallah. There will always be things in your life. You will have to call out to Allah for those things, everything and anything. I want you to go through the dua, sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He asked Allah for everything. Oh Allah, guide me. Oh Allah, give me good health, protect me from disease protect me from sickness why did he ask if it was wrong to ask allah it does not mean that you are controlling allah not at all you are just begging him and begging him because begging allah is a part of ibadah a dua who al ibadah dua and calling out to allah is actually ibadah because what does it mean if you want something and you are asking someone for that thing it means you believe he has that thing right if I want $40 million and I, I'm going to ask someone who doesn't even have $1,000, please give me $40 million. He'll start laughing. <laughs> I wish I had it. Right? But if I come to you and say, brother, give me $40 million, I know you probably have $400 million. You probably have more. You have something more. So when you say, oh Allah, give me good health, you know he owns health of everyone on earth. Oh Allah, give me this. It is worship. I am the greater, the dua. The more in your heart you are confirming the grandeur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So keep asking. I think it's a misunderstanding to say, don't ask Allah, you will be, or do you know you're controlling him and say, no, no, no. We will ask Allah and we will ask him for anything. If I want to walk from here to there, even if I know I can, I say, oh Allah, make it easy for me to walk from here to there. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Every breath of yours in the hands of Allah. Your heart beats 136,000 times on average. Maybe more or less with some people, right? Depending. But on average, I tell you what, every heartbeat is in the hands of your Lord. You ask him, oh Allah, grant me goodness, grant me good health. Let my heart ask those who don't have good health where they are. 